to make this submission. These gadgets we have here capture every word uttered accurately. So that if I was found tomorrow to have lied to these senators, sanctions can be brought on me. And I would have thought that that fear of telling a lie to this honorable Senate to me is more powerful than even bringing a medical report. We've had many medical reports generated outside hospitals. We see them in courts almost on daily basis. Mr. Speaker, you will remember the rush that was there when I was asking to be given up to 5 p.m. And it was a rush. Was I to fail to come back to this rubble house at 5 p.m. waiting for a medical report when the doctors there are busy attending to their patient, the deputy president. Medical reports I can bring. If I've told lies, that is something that can be established. And my learned friend, Mwishimua Honorable Orengo, talks about giving evidence from the bar. When I was learning, they are seated down when he's giving evidence from the bar about some cases filed in Malindi that I'm not aware of. Perhaps he should have given us a copy of that. Mushima Speaker, Article 145, sub Article 6 is clear, and I do not want to take time of this August House Senate going back to it, it applies, and I would plead with you and with honorable senators to give us until Tuesday to see whether the deputy president will be well enough. No one, no one decides when to get sick and when not to get sick. I am sure Many honorable senators here will have a story of their shock because of having spent an evening with somebody, then the following day they hear that the person is gone. Yet that person was looking good and healthy. Let's be humane. Let's be compassionate. To an autu kidogo. Tuesday, the heavens are not falling down to join with the earth. I thank you much, more speaker.